हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन वन ऑफ माय प्रीवियस वीडियो इन द सीरीज ऑफ द लेक्चर्स ऑन मोनोपोली आई हैव एक्सप्लेन टू यू द काइंड ऑफ मार्केट दैट द मोनोपोली इज एंड द काइंड ऑफ डिमांड कर्व द मोनोपोली फॉर्म फेसेस एंड फ्रॉम दैट इट बिकेम ऑब्वियस दैट ए फॉर्म कैन चूज वन एलिमेंट of the two that is either quantity or the price i mean it can choose the quantity and the price will be determined on the basis of the demand curve which is which it is facing and if it goes for the price uh, uh, it will determine as to what quantity it will be able to sell but it obviously cannot choose both at the same time okay now in this video i will be explaining to you as to how a firm arrives at the output decision okay under monopoly we have already seen that a monopolist faces a demand curve which is the average revenue curve for the firm okay here the output you are measuring along the x axis and the revenue and cost conditions whether average or margin the uh, on the y axis and we have also seen that marginal revenue will be uh, also downward sloping and a bit more steeper uh, because it has to be less than uh, the average revenue at each level of output and if you recall uh, when we were discussing the perfect competition Uh, i have uh, explained to you as to why the output level in all kinds of market for the firm will have to be the output level where marginal cost is equal to the marginal revenue okay that means that level of output where producing the last unit uh, cost the firm the same amount as the revenue that The, the this last unit brings okay that means we need to know about the cost conditions of the monopoly now cost average cost curve of a monopoly is supposed um this this kind of curve average cost curve which is initially decline uh, declines then reaching a certain minimum then it starts rising that is to Uh, for uh, all kinds of unless uh, you consider uh, the constant cost industry in the long run that is that could also be a possibility but uh, the result remains unaltered um, uh, uh, i mean irrespective of the shape of the average cost curve but we also need the marginal cost curve because we have to find as to which output level satisfies this condition so this is marginal cost okay now marginal cost and marginal revenue are intersecting at this point okay so this level which is q1 is the uh, equilibrium level of output that is the level of output which is most profitable for the firm okay now once the equilibrium level of output has been determined now marginal cost and marginal revenue uh, will not provide uh, any uh, more information so just forget about these curve but i will uh, let it uh, let them remain here uh, now then you will see as to uh, at associated with this level of output what will be the price that will be determined by the average revenue because that is the demand curve for the market uh, suppose this is p1 and what is the cost that is average cost so average cost is this okay suppose c1 okay and the difference between uh, op1 and oc1 is the profit per unit okay that is suppose if this uh, value uh, difference between the uh, suppose uh, uh, price is 10 p is 10 and uh, c is uh, suppose 7 
and uh, q1 uh, is uh, suppose 100 this is just a hypothetical um, uh, statement that means 10 minus 7 will be the profit per unit profit per unit that will be 10 is equal to 10 minus uh, 7 it's equal to 3 and the total profit will be uh, the 3 multiplied by the quantity which is 100 okay this one it will be equal to 300 so firm will be earning a pro total profit uh, which is equal to 300 dollar okay so this is how the firm reaches the equilibrium level of output and firm decides about the output now to summarize uh, the discussion um, i should say that uh, the step one is to find to find the output level level where mc is equal to mr second step will be to find uh, the um, average revenue and average cost associated with that level of output which level of output what does this that means i mean where the mc is equal to mr and the third stage is to find the difference between average revenue and average cost that is ar minus ac uh, for uh, getting per unit profit and fourth is and uh, this profit per unit uh, per unit profit to be to multiply uh, profit uh, to to be profit sorry to be multiplied by the quantity this will give you the total profitable so these are the four steps through which uh, you can find uh, the uh, output level uh, that will ensure the maximum profitability and this is the uh, area so if you give it the number suppose uh, d e so you can say the c1 e d p1 is the total profit total profit okay so this is for the output decision and the profit level of uh, monopoly thank you very much